Hey, what is up everybody? This is Rob and this is my 2022 Toyota Tacoma Tierney Off-Road. Now you guys have seen that I have been building this Tacoma up. You know, I've actually had it for one year, have about 12,000 miles on it. And of course, if you guys go through my YouTube playlist about the Tacoma buildup, you can see all the great products I have installed on the Tacoma to make it the solid truck that it is today. However, I will say that if you are looking into look, getting a third generation Tacoma, there are a few things that you do have to keep in mind. You know, there are a few caveats with owning a third generation Tacoma. All right, and I kind of want to go over those because I'm not going to lie, you know, I did consider myself pretty educated. You know, when I bought my Tacoma, I did a lot of research, but there were still a few things that kind of took me a little bit more by surprise than I expected. So with that, you know, let's get into this. So we're going to call this one, things I wish I knew about my Toyota Tacoma. All right, you guys, so this is the main thing, all right? This is something that I see a lot of people actually selling their Tacomas for. They only own their Tacoma for like a year, sometimes even less, and then they'll get frustrated with it, and they'll usually sell it for another truck, all right? So I like to call this the Tacoma trifecta of regret. These are the three things that the Tacoma does wrong that is what makes people regret their purchase and look into something else. And they are all connected, hence why it is a trifecta. So let's get a nice little triangle right here. All right, guys. And like I said, they're all related. So first off, let's look at the motor in the Tacoma. Now this is the V6 model. It has a 276 horsepower, I believe around 260 pound of torque. V6 motor that Toyota actually also presents in the Camry. However, guys, when you think about it, the motor in this Tacoma is definitely made for a Camry, not for a 4,000 plus pound vehicle, all right? It is a slug. It is very slow. You know, when you're on a freeway, you often have to gun it just to get some good passing power going on. People will often try to bite at the coma and say, oh, I can tow with this. No, you're not towing a whole lot of weight on this thing. You know, not at all. You know, unfortunately, it does make some people frustrated and they go usually for a full size after that or one of the competition. You know, I'm not saying that Tacoma should be a really fast truck or anything. I'm not looking for a sports car, right? I've owned sports cars, you know, I know what speed is. But when you see the Tacoma consistently placing on the bottom when you do performance comparisons, you know, when you look at the competitors of Tacoma, sometimes you just kind of wonder, you know, will Toyota do better? Now, let's see how the next generation of Tacoma is. You know, rumor has it, it's gonna be a four cylinder twin turbo. Let's see if that's true. I think it'd be pretty interesting. All right, so that's one part of the trifecta. So now number two, all right? And that is that the transmission, guys, it has a very annoying transmission. This is an automatic and wow, this thing loves to gear hunt so dang much, you guys. All right. When you're driving on a freeway, you know, say, like I said, you want to step on to get a little bit of passing power. Guess what? You're going to step on it. And it's going to take a little while. You're going to see the RPM needle kind of, kind of lose its mind for a second. And that's trying to think, what gear do I want to go into? It's unresponsive. You know, it's frustrating. It got to the point where if I was on the freeway, I'd have to kind of, I'd really have to think about like, is it worth trying to merge right now? <laughs> because I wouldn't be too confident in the Tacoma's ability to get the gear going and get the power going right when I need it. You know, a lot of people really don't like this. A lot of complaints about it. So many people that are like, oh my God, what did Toyota do? You know, why did they choose such a badly set up gearbox for this? Unfortunately, that's just the way it goes. So that is number two on the trifecta, all right? All right, you guys, so now on for the third trifecta. So first, I'm going to start off with a joke about the Tacoma, all right? A lot of people like to say the Tacoma has the motor, that's a V6, but it has the fuel miles per gallon of a V8, will give you the performance of a four-cylinder. Now, this goes into my next thing, all right? The miles per gallon on the Tacoma sucks, guys, all right? People are only getting like 16 to 20 on average. I get about 18 to 20 usually on a good week. You know, it's pretty disappointing. I mean, you know, of course you don't buy a truck expecting great gas mileage, but you'd ex at least expect it to say like, okay, well, the gas mileage sucks, but at least it has a lot of power. But you don't get any of that. And that's also something that makes a lot of people sell their Tacomas and then they say, well, if I'm gonna be getting the gas mileage of a full-size truck, I'm just gonna buy a full-size truck. I see a lot of people actually selling these and buying Tundras instead. You know, if they wanna stick with Tacoma, sometimes they go for domestic options, guys. It really is, you know, depending on what you want. Now, personally, you know, I always looked at the Tacomas. It's a fun little off-road truck, so I'm all right with all this. 
But I did want to fix it a little bit, guys. I wanted to make it more bearable. I wanted to make it more drivable. So that was why I went ahead and I added a CVC tune to my Tacoma, guys, all right? So go ahead and check that out. I do have a video review on it. Most of these tunes are all going to be pretty much the same within the same 10 to 15% variable. But you're all going to do the same. We're going to fix a lot of gear hunting, and the CVC tune did that. It will also adjust the power bands, all right? My power band is much better now. I definitely feel like it's a bit easier now to drive on a freeway. It definitely makes it a bit easier to drive, guys. So remember that trifecta, guys, right? So remember, number one, we have the underpowered motor. Number two, we have the gear hunting. Number three, we have the bad miles per gallons. These are the main three things that make people regret their purchase and make them not want to keep their Tacoma anymore. So please do a lot of research on this. Be ready for this. If you test drive a Tacoma, try to take it on the freeway. You know, really see what I'm talking about. All right, guys. So with that, let's go on to the next thing. All right, you guys. So this is something I see a lot when I'm on the Facebook groups or on the forums. All right. So of course, you know, you bought this cool little off-road truck, right? And you're thinking, all right, I can't wait to just toss some giant wheels on it, raise it up like five inches and just have some fun with it. Well, here's the thing, guys. The Tacoma, it's a very capable vehicle, but it's not made for a lot of, um, a lot of crazy stuff to be done with it. Yes, you can do it. You know, a lot of money will do anything for you, right? A lot of money will make the slowest car the fastest and all that kind of stuff. But if you're looking for something you can easily go extreme with, unfortunately, this isn't for you. However, a lot of people are happy enough just doing a two to three inch lift and putting on some 33s. And usually that's pretty good, you know, just on the 33s and a two to three inch lift. And you're still gonna be pretty off-road capable. That's more than a lot of people need, you know, and then add a few little supporting things, you know, upper control arms, that kind of stuff. You know, unfortunately, you also are going to be getting some issues. A lot of people report new vibrations. So for example, uh, the needle shaft, that usually does go. All right, so if you do raise it, make sure to replace that. I do have a video about if you want to raise your Tacoma, you know, and stuff to think about. So do check that out also, guys. You know, that's why right now my main goal is just 32 is on stock off-road suspension just to keep it somewhat reliable until I get a few more miles in it. You know, I don't want to have problems with it while it's still so new. But keep that in mind, guys. This isn't something you just toss 35s on a 5-inch lift and get driving and call it a day. You will need to do some stuff. You know, like I said earlier about the trifecta, with the way the motor is and everything, when you do add those fatter tires and everything, it will also make it a lot slower, which is also a big problem. You know, and people are get mad. They're like, why am I only getting 14 miles per gallon? It's like, well, this isn't the truck that can really, you know, isn't really capable of easily having that much weight added to it, especially when we add on all the other off-road bits people like to add like the racks. So keep that in mind, guys. You know, do your research, you know, be educated about it. All right, you guys. So. This is actually a bit of a bonus one. Uh, you know, this is probably only me for a specific amount of people. But if you want a Tacoma that is white, you guys really have to be careful, all right? Because if you get a Tacoma up to the year 2022 and it's in super white, you might be having some issues, guys, all right? A lot of people have been buying their Toyota Tacomas in super white. And then unfortunately, after only a year, they'll get like little bits of paint chipping off, for example, like right here, like on all the edges. It's really unfortunate because it'll only it only really happens to the super white. It's due to something of how, you know, the paint was laid on in a factory. All, I know that it's not a paint that has a lot of clear coat on it, so I wonder if that's something that's related to it. You know, it's kind of a, it's kind of a basic white. It's kind of like a work truck kind of white. So I'm wondering if that's part of why Toyota didn't really bother putting a lot of effort into that white, because maybe they figure it might be more of a commercial color anyways. But it's very unfortunate. You know, the other day I was at the dealership and there was actually someone taking in their white Tacoma because it had that issue. It was a 2021 model, you guys, all right? Now for 2023, instead of super white, which by the way, paint color is 404, I believe, or might be 040, I'll put it, correct one right there. There's now a new one, I believe it's called Ice Cap White, something like that. Apparently that fixes the issue. So keep that in mind, 2023 might be fine. Of course, there is also a nicer white that was available, I know for 2022 at least, called, um, it was like a pearl white. A really nice white, guys. Check that one out instead, guys. All right, I really like white trucks. I actually thought about one for a little bit, but the fact that super white would be so problematic had me thinking, never mind. It is unfortunate, so if you do want to get Tacoma, just keep that in mind if you really want a white one. Stay away from the super white, guys. Just stay clear of it. All right, you guys, so. Those are the main things I wish I knew before I had bought a Tacoma. Of course, the trifecta is the big one. I just want to throw in those other little fun ones for you guys. You know, once again, this isn't the 
truck that you're going to get a lot of great miles per gallons with. Not a truck you can throw some 35s and stuff on it without having to chop it up. You know, do a cab mount chop and all that other stuff that gets kind of annoying. You know, and definitely try not to get one in super white. You know, I, I've been building up the Tacoma for a year. It's been a lot of fun having this truck and enjoying it a lot. You know, always looking for new things. So do let me know if there's anything else you want to see, you know, any new products to review, that kind of stuff. Maybe I can get you guys coupons. Remember guys, of course, check out my playlist on the Tacoma buildup to see any other coupons that I have for you guys, you know, and of course, leave me, you know, comments. Let me know what you guys think of this video, anything I should add. I'm definitely down to do a part two. So let me know guys, all right? So with that guys, this is Rob and have a good one.